All right, here's a DIY for changing your coolant temperature sensor. I have a 97 Toyota T100, the 3.4 V6. So, first thing you need to do is remove this shield. You wanna clamp this, bring it back to about right here. That's all you need, because you're only gonna pull this back about two inches. Now, you need to take off bolt one, two, three, four, and you'll see there's one right underneath here that you need to take off. There is a sixth behind this wire harness. You don't need to take it off. You just take off those five, pull the shield back about two inches. Actually, before, before you take the shield off, pull this clamp off because it once you pull the shield off it'll pull back and I dropped it down and be there but I was able to get it so do that then what you need to do is this right here this fuel rail is what you need to move to get to this is your coolant temperature sensor so here's the orientation of the truck Right behind the 3400 and four is your coolant temperature sensor. So I didn't know what to expect for gas for the fuel rail, so I put a napkin underneath here. All you need to do is loosen this bolt, just loosen it, that's it. Just one crack, just then you need to take off this bolt. Now you don't need to take it all the way out of the fuel rail, you just need to get it out of this section. Watch out, there's a washer here and a washer here that uh, I had a napkin below that. No gas came out, but the, the napkin did catch the washer in between here. So make sure to keep that. Then what you wanna do is this fuel rail, you need to lift up and just put it right there out of the way. Then, actually, these are 17 millimeter, these are 10 millimeter, and the coolant temperature sensor is a 19. So you wanna put your flathead screwdriver down and push in on the tab on the coolant temperature sensor. And with your other left hand, you pull off the coolant temperature sensor once the little tab underneath that you're pushing on is out of the lock. Then. With your deep socket and extension, undo the coolant temperature sensor, making sure that you don't lose the washer between the engine and the coolant temperature sensor, because mine did not come, my replacement did not come with another washer, so you gotta reuse it. And then you just clip everything back in, do it in reverse. I don't know the torque specs on, uh, on any of these bolts, but you know, just don't grill it. You know, snug them down, especially the fuel rail. So, anyways, good luck.